Yangming Shan National Park encompasses a group of dormant volcanoes with hot springs and active fumaroles, a popular spot for daytime. But at night, all manner of interesting creatures come out. The Taipei Grand Trail at night. Stage 3. The 92 kilometer Taipei Grand Trail is divided into seven stages around the Taipei Basin. We'll begin making our way up to the top of the mountain there. And it will be dark by then. Tonight we do the 14 kilometer Stage 3 from Xiaoyoukang up to the summit of Qixingshan, across the Qingtian grasslands, and all the way back to Feng Guizui. So let's get out of here before the mountain erupts. While the birds prepare to sleep, and the light fades, we ascend the steep stone walkway, walled in by mountain grasses. As the moon rises, the trail takes on an enchanting air. We encounter a few creatures on the walk up, including a small toad and some magical insects. Steam rises from sulfurous fumaroles with interesting crystal formations. Night has fallen by the time we reach the summit where we meet our fifth team member. This marker marks the third stage of the Taipei Grand Hike. We're going to continue descending back down and hopefully find some cool wildlife along the way. So let's get to it. After a short, steep descent, we reach the tree line. Oh, oh wait. What's that? Oh, it's, 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 it's not a squirrel. It is, it is. It is? It is, it is. It's so big. It's a red flying squirrel. Oh, it flew. It just flew. The forest trail is steep, but it begins to reveal fascinating creatures that call it home. Some are asleep. Some lie in silent ambush. While others are very active indeed. Oh, look at that. It just I flew just... away. From Qixing Park, the trail is easy walking. A red-banded snake is out hunting toads. Although non-venomous and shy, they readily bite if handled. Yet their greatest defense is their pungent anal secretions. Ugh. This toad has found a safe place to hide. Toad in a hole. Then we find um, yeah, something beautiful. Yeah. Like, in terms of what Quite otherworldly creatures munching away through the night. These incredibly colored caterpillars fatten themselves up in preparation to become one of Taiwan's most charismatic moths, the Lesser Atlas Moth. What a beauty. At Menghuan Pond, the air is filled with a deafening chorus of frogs. What better place for a lurking green tree viper? Another red banded snake greets us while we rest, before crossing over the Jingshan Bridge at Longshui Kang. Then on through spooky forests towards the grassland. A venomous many banded crate scurries off the path. So we seem to be on track. A greater green snake sleep up in a tree, while on the ground a trapdoor spider lies in wait for a, a passing insect. Oh, look at that. That is a thing of beauty. 
These incredible spiders use fine web tripwires to detect passing prey while they hide concealed behind their carefully camouflaged. Now he's closed it. In their secret tunnel lairs. Here the forest reclaims an ancient stone cow shed. So the Qingtian grasslands are near. I love spiders, what can I say? This large huntsman, a giant crab spider. And here, a giant Asian mantis. Okay. I feel like she's gonna fly. No, no, don't worry. And a giant mid autumn festival moon. As we pass through a buffalo proof gate, patches of grassland are broken up by patches of trees. And sure enough, the habitat reveals its inhabitants, a Fujian large-headed frog, keeping a safe distance from this green tree viper watching over the pool. Blah, 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 top of the mountain. We're all tired. This is the last peak before we descend back down to our vehicles. On the Shi Shan Ding Shan Ridge, we notice some shitty artwork. Larger mammals lurk. Don't step on it. Suddenly, out of the shadows, massive, semi-wild buffalo appear. Mere meters from the trail. They are frightening to behold. As the forest thins again, we encounter an unlikely sight. Turtles living in a puddle, each one with its own hole to hide in. Oh, so nice! We got wild turtles. They appear to be catching passing tadpoles. A huge water scorpion also shares their little pond. Before we reach the end of the ridge, we stumble across more enormous water buffalo grazing in the darkness. Although only semi-wild and used to passing hikers, they can be dangerous, so we decide not to have a go at cow tipping. The forest thickens as we approach Dingshan. Well, Mount Ding, almost, almost done. From here, the ridge steepens through coniferous forests as we feel fatigue and weariness set in. The usual creatures are hanging about, as well as some more uncommon, this log is perfect. pleasing fungus beetles feeding on tasty white mushrooms. We soon approach Feng Guizui. After nine and a half hours, tired, we have made it. Uh, we're all pretty knackered, but we did it. We've done stage three of the Taipei Grand Hike. Joyce. Stay tuned for the upcoming stages. And if you missed the previous stages, check them out right now. Good night. Cheers. Good night. See you in two weeks on the next stage.